Can we do gags? Can we can do like see? Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, Scott here from Outlaw Garage. Today we're down at Jay Leno's Garage. We're here for a invite only car show. Um, we bought the 356, which is a little bit interesting because it's all about their car cleaning products. And obviously we don't wash ours. DeLorean here, it does have a flux capacitor inside. We've got a coffee. So here we go, it's got a flux capacitor. It is signed. <laughs> it is signed by the first Jennifer. I think we... Oh, she signed it there. Yeah. How cool is that? She wrote a little note as well. How cool is that? Apparently at a Comic Con event, she caught up with uh, them afterwards and signed it. I guess this being bare metal as well. This is what the 356 looked like at one stage, all shiny, but not anymore. It does look great with the doors open like that. So here we go, we're with Highball. They can't open their bonnet. I need help. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? Oh. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. There is going to be a good show in the Mustangs down here. That one's got a big supercharger in it. Look at that. So like we said, there's going to be a lot of Mustangs here today. Shelby. It's got a whole shopping list of stuff there. Down in our 356 today. There she is, bless her. So Ferrari Dino sat next to the DeLorean. We are a little bit early today. Like I said, we've got coffee early, but everybody's kind of coming down. It is nice to see a few special cars already here. We're inside the Dino. The old cartridge. Gated shifter down the bottom. These seats, look at those. And that back, of course, the engine is in the middle. That is an amazing place to be. And look how so low you are, where the bottom of the seat is, and then the pedals are almost high. Real go kart feel, and the car is so low, but that interior, and then this red, is absolutely fantastic. What a place to be. Here we are inside an E30. Look at that. It's actually part of a racing series, it's about 25 of them race, all in the same spec. And it's come down today for a coffee. It's actually really cool. A few guys out and about racing in one of these. Three hundred on one of these. Yeah, it was a. It was the first Celica that came into Australia, and it was never registered because it was one of their. What do they call them? Oh, pre-production or something. Yeah, and it sat somewhere, and then somebody found it, and then they restored it. And spent 300 grand, uh, reportedly 300 grand, uh, restoring it. And, uh, did pretty well at Motor Classic. Wow. Well, I guess if it's a pre-production, it's it is a little bit different, isn't it? Was well, stock car. Oh yeah, yeah. The green's lovely. I think there'll be a nice turnout from the Toyota Club today. Who are you talking to? Old Toyota Corolla. Look at this. What I love most about it is those hubcaps. 
take a look at these bloody things. I kind of got a fox kind of feeling about them. Look at those. The interior is really nice. And I think just because it's a really blasting sunny day and the paintwork shows up a few imperfections. However, I think if the light wasn't so bright, I think um, the light's not really helping cars today. He has left his lights on, so we do probably need to find the owner. So 75, he's got 40,000 kilometers on the clock. Look at that. It's a family owned car. Been in the same family for years. From new, in From fact. New. Uncle owned it, passed it on. What a car. We might pop the hood. Is the hood popped? Huh? Is the hood popped? Of course it does, man. Oh, look at that. It's a speed machine, 1.1 1. 1 litre. 1.1. 1. <laughs> Don't say 1.2, it's fine. <laughs> hey, speed great. machine. Oh, look at that. Right for a good while then. Oh no, I took it out. I go to the Toyota Club ones like this. I try and do a couple a year, at least four or five, but with the shutdown, got a bit harder. But uh, no, she loves a little run. She enjoys it. So this is the imported model, you said? This is the imported one, yeah. What they call the hard top coupe deluxe. Yeah, okay. And, and you can pick them by the shape of the back? The back, back window is how you pick it. As the because that's got more of a the AMI version when they assemble them here had the window here that used to pop out. Oh, okay. these are wind down. Oh, they wind down, do yeah, they? Wind down windows. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah, yeah, because you normally don't, especially with a window that kind of shape, you normally don't think they'd kind of wind that's down. Right. Yeah, it's got the old. Uh, Original car. Oh, I see the winder. Yeah, there we go. There we go, there's the winder. Original carpet, you said? Yep. That's cracking. <laughs> it's amazing, you get a collection of cars down here and then it's these. Yeah, well, I, yeah, a lot of people laugh at the old grill, but uh, I love going to show her off a bit. No, it's fantastic. There's a couple, I've seen a couple around. You don't see a lot. I can't take it anywhere. And if you were to People want to buy it. <laughs> now, you don't see many of these around here in Australia. A Triumph Stag. This one doesn't look in bad condition at all. It has had an unfortunate meeting with a bird on the bonnet. But I guess it is a sunny day, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Always had a soft spot for a targa and a T-top. English wooden dashes in there. They actually have a reasonable amount of space in that back seat as well, so you can have a couple of people in there, no problem at all. But that is really good condition. Of course in England they can be a bit of a rust bucket but out here in Australia that really isn't a problem. So this followed us on the way down here, a little sprinter, actually looked really nice on the road behind us. Got an old Celica here. There is another one just over there as well, just turning around. That does sound like it's been modified a fair bit. Definitely me, this Lotus. I love that wing on the back. Look at that. I don't know if we can see that very well because the light is horrendous. Look at that thing. Oh, I love that. The interior is really nice as well. They're always a bit of a tight spot in a Lotus. I don't know if you can quite see that, but it's got like some... I don't know if they're cut out or if they were like factory cut out. So you, you can see into the engine bay. I wonder if they had like a grill over them or something for a bit of air getting in. I'm not sure. Or I wonder if they've cut them like that just so that it's 
easy access to be able to do some work on it. That's cracking. So some of the regulars here. We haven't seen this 993 before. And, uh, that's really nice. Yeah, the last guy, the guy I've been swimming in for many years. Okay. He's water right. Is it the aerial? So I think the last time we saw this, this was at the Capello event um, in the warehouse uh, that we went to. We were parked not too far away from this. So this is a factory paint matte blue AMG GTS Pro. This is magnificent. Now we do know the owner, so we are going to try and get this on the channel. They do own as well a 930 so um, we are going to try and get both of them on the channel but it's a lovely car just love the color on it it's a lovely event today so probably gonna get sunburnt again bloody hell but yeah that's cracking so i think we caught this rolling in paint is almost like a minty green did you say that? <laughs> Put that on the that, it's cracking man. I think the window's cracked open so we'll be able to take a bit of a look. Oh, look at that inside. It does have an upgraded, modified stereo unit, which is probably handy to have. Classic steering wheel in a Mercedes, they're always like a piece of art. How the car's been parked up to that, it's been hard to get some footage. But this GT with the livery down the side, that's brilliant. Toyota, it's just popping off. There she goes. A little bit closer, look at this, look at the inside. Toyota Club, I've had a really good turnout today. <laughs> I needed something. Yeah, massive payment today from the Toyota. Alright. Looks great set there. I do like that delivery on the side. We're here with Subaru's BMW. We're not gonna talk about it too much because we are going to cover it properly. Yep. Can we do gags? Can we, we can do like scene? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, sure, what do you want to know? It's blue, Smurf blue. It's blue. I think the specific colour. 88 BMW E30 M3. Yeah. Good. Original Good. colour, Good. original wheels. No. Well, nothing original at all. Not nothing original wheels, non original colour. Don't listen to it. And I'm actually talking to somebody this time. Yeah, non original dialogue, everything. Like the whole thing about it is uh, unoriginal. Actually, yeah, engine's the same, interior's all the same, colour's not, and wheels have changed. Uh, and it's come from Japan. Oh, uh, Japanese that, imports? Yes, you bet. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, and that's about it, yeah. Cool little car. Well, we're not going to cover it too much because yeah. we are going to go for a drive okay, yeah, one yeah. day. Yeah, so no that's enough. No okay. more, no okay. more. All right, that's <laughs> it. The boys are off in the Ferraris. A 996, but in like a, I don't know if that's a forest green. Look at that, that's really nice. Wow, what a cool color! That is a very nice color on that 996. Oh, that's tight there. How nice is that? Well, that's it from us today. Thanks to Jay Leno Garage for organising the day. Absolutely brilliant. Please drop the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you later, guys. Bye.